Hey friends, it's Mr. Miles again and welcome back to this video, okay? So this video that I'm making is a full course. It's not a full course from beginners, it's a full course of those looking to be consistent in trading Forex or those looking to be profitable in trading Forex. So this is the full course of everything that you need to know of how to analyze up to your entries and everything that you need to know about, money, about market manipulation. So stay tuned to the video and watch the video because it's going to change the way you trade. After watching this video, if you still feel like um, and trading is still hard, then I don't know what I can tell you, but this video is going to change the way you trade. Give yourself some time, relax, go to your quiet place and watch the video, okay? So let's move on, okay? Before I move on to the video, you know, let me introduce myself, okay? My name is Zio Miles and I'm a trader from Uganda, okay? I'm a full-time trader and I do trading for a living and I'm, I'm a funded FTMO trader and I love trading, okay? So what I can tell you guys is trading is not easy. That is the truth. It takes a, a bigger mindset. It's not all about just trading is something that, but after watching this video, you will understand. I don't want to tell you so much a lot. And another thing that I don't forget is if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, of course. And don't forget to like the video. It's very free. Just like the video, man, and let's support the channel by liking. And I'm going to be doing something in this coming year, guys. Uh, like if, if, you really, if you really know that you're consistent in trading and you need help, just leave a comment like, hey, Miles, I need help, okay? Because uh, I, need, I have a friend, like a friend of mine, who is looking for real cool traders, you're not going to pay anything, but he will test you. You'll go for a simple challenge. And if you're really a cool trader, he can only find you with something like 2000 USD. So if you're really a good trader and you're sure of yourself, just leave a comment that Miles, I need help. Or Miles, I'm into it. Okay, just leave that comment. And also leave a comment about what you think about the video. Of course, guys, I love you so much. And you know what? Let's move on. Let me share you. Let me tell you everything about this so this are my chat this is my chat this is my chat okay this is what all of you want to be watching and another thing is that guys if you're still struggling with a broker check the link in my description and open yourself an account with xness open yourself an account with xness click the link on the description or open yourself a trading account with xness and also leave a comment if you still if you still don't understand this video and you still need more help don't keep quiet man leave a comment i will see how i can help you okay because trading we all need each other you all we all need each other and also if you're not part of the telegram group you can join so you can not you don't miss my alerts the forex setups you can join check the link in the description then you can join so we are going to be using an example of nzdsd i told you this is a full course nzdsd now look at very well NZDSD. Before we move on, I'm gonna be showing, I'm gonna be telling you the, the key things that I use in trading, okay? Uh, the number one thing that I use in trading is, uh, is support and resistance. I also use support and resistance. Uh, just a moment. Support and resistance, mark that one guys. Support and resistance. I don't know. Oh, cool. Support and resistance. I'm going to show you how I use support and resistance. Another thing that I also use is I use the market structure. And I'm going to show you very well how I use the market structure for, find, for analyzing the market, finding my entries, and everything. And then another thing that I also consider so much in trading is understanding the levels of the markets. Okay, that is the that's the because you know very well that in trading the weekly cycle repeats itself, and you know that's three levels the intra intra weekly level. Okay, then another thing that I also consider so much is understanding the market manipulation. That is where the thing comes from, man. You have to understand how the market is being manipulated. Who runs the markets? Hmm? They are smarter than you guys. Let me tell you something. If you don't act smart in trading, how do you act smart in trading? I'm going to show you in this video. If you don't act smart in trading, then you'll always lose your money. Because the guys you're trading against are very smart. Okay? They have more knowledge. They have more, more chances of winning the trade than you. They even know when a trade is going to start like a, a new trend is going to start. They know it, man. They know it. They even see your equity. They even see your leverage. 
uh, they, they see everything. They see your lots. They see where you put your stop loss. They see where you put your take profits. That's why most traders are going to be complaining that when I buy, it sells. Or when I sell, it buys. And then some traders also complain that as soon as I entered the trade, maybe I bought from here, okay? And my stop loss was here. Price hit my stop loss. And after hitting my stop loss, directly it bought and went my direction. So that's why I'm telling you they monitor you. So it's very hard to trade against someone who monitors you. And in this video, it's going to be a solution to all that, okay? Now, I was telling you that I do trade using support and resistance, and I'm going to show you that market structure, levels, and also use the trend, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to get the trend. And another thing is that guys, I don't use any single indicator in my charts. I'm a full-time price action trader. I don't use any, anything, anything, oh, okay? I don't use anything like, like that. So I also use round numbers. I call them significant numbers. And the reason why I use round numbers, I made the other video about round numbers. If you didn't check my video of how to analyze the previous video of how to analyze the market, you'll go and see how to how to enter round numbers. That is, I, I don't want to repeat round numbers in this video. I'll just show you that. I'll just tell you that I use it. And the reason why I use round numbers is, you see, the reason why they call it round numbers, it means they've rounded the figure. Like they, they, they adjust, they give you at least a possible or like it's something like reduces your stop loss, a possible retracement or a possible continuation of a trend. Mainly I use it in H1 or H4. It works in any time frame, but beginning from H4 downwards, okay? Yeah, you have to know that. You have to know that, guys. So that is what I basically use in trading. Then I also use candles so much, guys. I, if you don't understand candles, hey, man, go and watch my first video about how to use candles for entries. It will blow your mind and it will open your mind of how to use candles very well. Don't cram candles. Understand every candle. Because candles, I told you one thing, candles communicate a lot in the market. When you see any shape of the candle, it's trying to tell you something. If you pay attention and and try to listen what's telling you, then you will understand the moves of the market. Okay, because candles sometimes are used for manipulation. Candles are used for so many things. Stop hands, candles. So candles are used for manipulation a lot. Okay, so if you understand candles, then you're also very smart. You're also very, very smart. Okay, so then another thing that I also use is I use order blocks, order blocks. I'm going to be explaining to you all that, how I use order blocks and why I use order blocks so much. And I'll, when, when I talk of order blocks, I have a new one that is order flow. That is the trend. I will also speak about the trend. Okay, I'll speak about all that. Then when it comes to the market structure, I basically use SMS, BMS and RTO. If you still don't understand that, Check all my videos so that you don't get lost, man. Check all the videos. Go and check the videos about market structures. I have three videos about market structure and they will help you very, very well, okay? So let's move on with the first step, okay? I'm gonna teach you everything. Oh, I'm not hiding anything from you guys. Just uh, bear with me. I'm not hiding anything from anyone. I'm not hiding anything from anyone. Uh huh. Let me move that. So, uh, let me enlarge the screen. So this is uh, NZDSD. I want you to see this very well. What has been happening in the markets? Okay. You see. Before I move further, let me tell you one thing. If you're not consistent in trading Forex, don't fund your account. First quit and, 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 and open a cent account. Don't open a demo account, brah, okay? You won't understand anything in the demo account. There is nothing that happens in the demo account. Oh, it just gives you what we call false confidence, okay? When you get false confidence, you think what is happening in the demo account will happen in the real account. It never like that, guys. Open yourself a real cent account and fund $10 and you can trade like you're trading pro. Check the link in the description, open yourself that account. So this is NZDSD, I want you to look at this. But before that, I will go to the monthly chart. Remember one thing, the month is ending and we are moving into a new month, okay? So you see, 
Trading using high, uh, high time frames is very powerful and it's more accurate than using small time frames. Because high time frames really give you the picture and they really give you the direction of the market. Because these guys know that most traders, 99% of traders are never patient. They cannot trade using high time frames. And that's why they are going to move the market slowly by slowly. You just need only to be patient. That is it. Then before I move further, there is something that I forgot to tell you guys. After learning this video, after watching and learning and using it, if you still don't use proper risk management, there is no way you're going. I'm sorry for that, but if you still don't use proper risk management, you, if you use proper risk management, you will always feel trading is bad. You will never enjoy trading. You'll always have this headache every time. But if you use proper risk management, my friend, I promise you one thing, you'll enjoy trading. You'll enjoy what you do. You'll, you'll love trading. You love how you love trading. You love trading. So let's. So this is our 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 monthly chart. Okay, I want you to look at the the first thing that we are gonna look at. Let's look at the candles of the monthly charts. Okay. Uh huh. Good. I want you. Okay. Let's let's start from here. Look at this candle here, my friend. Okay. You see, if you look at such candles in the monthly chart, this is a strong rejection candle, implying that in the next month, we are having strong bearish pressure. But now when you see this type of candle, okay, it needs patience. So you already know that, hey, I think something good is going to happen. Something we are going to have a bearish pressure, but a few traders will always will be will will, will, will like the a few traders won't be able to wait for this. They won't, they won't. Okay, they won't see this. So if you look at this, I'm seeing a strong resistance. Okay, let me draw it. This is my resistance zone. Something like that. You can see that price has always been respecting that point. Okay. So what do I think about NZDSD? Okay, about next month, see this type of candle. Maybe we might have a small retracement, but I still see a strong bearish pressure. Why? Why am I saying that is, look at even this point here. I want you to look at these candles. We are only first using candles here. Look at this red candle. It has broken the previous, I call this support. Price opened from here and it pushed price all over. Those are the buyers, okay? They pushed price all over up to up here. And then we had a bearish pressure, pushing price and closing price below where the, below where the price opened in the last month, okay? So you can see this. So what I expect in NZDSD is, okay, you know, I'm giving you my expectations. Uh, I expect this. Let me let me let me draw this. I expect maybe this uh, the candle to move like this, but I don't expect any candle to close above this. We might have a week, like maybe a week. Maybe if it's trying to, if there are many people who are selling already, we might have a week and it. it, it but I don't think price will close above zero point six eight nine four. Okay, I don't think that. I don't think that. <laughs> So we might have this, then price moves down. That is how I'm seeing the monthly charts of NZDSD. Remember one thing guys, what I'm gonna be doing is stay alert because I'm gonna be making on Sunday. Yeah, I think on Sunday before every, every week starts, I'll be making some analysis of mine of the new week so that we can see how we can help each other. Don't forget to just leave a comment guys. Let's support the channel. Let's leave a like because it's, it's just showing love, you know, and when you show me love, I'll show you back love either personally or anyhow. Okay, let me see your comment. So this is what I'm trying to say. Let me repeat this. This, when you see price uh, opening from this point, this was your opening price, then the buyers pushed the price all over this point. So the buyers were very strong. But in the next month, look at this, the sellers pushed price below and even closed price below where these guys had opened. So that tells you that the bearish momentum is very high because it has broken the level at which these guys had started their price. Okay, it's just like going to the market 
and you get one seller who says that no my price you know these guys who talk of fixed prices you're going to buy maybe a book and this guy said that no I, my fixed price is ten dollars no 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 my fixed price is ten dollars then from nowhere the next seller says that because maybe the anything have something as bad as happened in the market he drops price to eight usd you get that so it's like he has broken the price this is the price level which is very important when you see such prices here it's very important to me such prices are very very important to me so i mark this point and that's why i'm saying i'm expecting a sell on nzdsd still a long sell but it takes only patience so let's go to the monthly chart and let's see something so here i was trying to draw my support levels and resistance levels using candles only okay but if you have a small account it's very hard for you to hold such trades that's why what i do advise you is look for a prop firm that can fund you okay and if you're sure that i told you if you're sure that you're consistent leave a comment that miles i need help it's free if you want to test the challenge i have a friend of mine i told you he needs good traders if you want to test the challenge and something cool can happen you can get funded you never know so oh, let you try your luck bro in in everything in life forex you have to try try don't give up in forex don't give up in trading man so let's see the weekly chart how it's looking like <laughs> look at the weekly chart okay after we drew our zone see how the weekly chart is looking like okay in the weekly chart it also broke these points uh-huh then that's what i'm expecting but i'm just trying to teach you about how to draw support and resistance levels using candles on high time frames on high time frames <laughs> Now, let me show you about something also very important. I remember one thing that I want to tell you guys is when you're dealing with support and resistance in high time frames, there are so many ways of drawing support and resistance. You can either use candles or you can use uh, the structures of a market. Always when you see a candle moving, like let's say a higher high, price has reached a higher high, okay? then it goes up to this point and fails to break the previous high high that becomes our resistance point already then if it goes again and breaks and fails to break that high high it's it's it, it is again the resistance point is growing more stronger if again it does it again and fails to break it is now strong stronger and i don't know how to use it more stronger uh -huh, more stronger just like if you look at this weekly chart in nzdsd you will notice something, something. Let me show you what you'll notice. I will mark this point as my main resistance level because I'm even seeing a nice rejection. Then I'm seeing price bouncing at the at, at that previous, at the previous high high. Price is failing to break this higher high, this higher high. You can see there was a pullback then moving back but it has failed to break that point okay so what does that tell me it tells me that this resistance this point is this resistance point is growing stronger it's very hard the, 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 okay like the more the the retests and failing to break the stronger the resistance in that point let me repeat again the more the retests to that point the stronger the the, the, the stronger the resistance at that point okay i'm just talking about resistance first i've not started coming to order block what what so stay tuned to the video my brother i hope it helps you have some time of I have some i've been on some more sick but i know everything will be fine we thank god you know so this is how it is so that is also i mark this as my resistance point a strong resistance point on entity esd okay now let me show you something again if you look at the nzd you can notice that it, it has been buying for some time for some good time okay it's been buying for some good time let me try to zoom it it's been buying for some time so you can see that it's very easy let me show you something Okay, you can see that 
So I told you just that trading takes patience because if you see this point, I want you, let me draw more. Sorry. There is one thing that you have to know. There is what you call a continuation of a trend, a bearish flag and a bullish flag. Okay, the first thing is that I've drawn that, uh, that uh, this, sorry, I've drawn this arrow. Let's go to small time frames and see how it's looking. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, shit, man, it's not moving. Why? Uh, I think that price is very behind. Uh, let's look for another one. Let's look for another one, which is near our current price. So let me give you one example. Let's, okay, let's say this. No, that's not clear. That's not clear. Let's use, let's use this. Uh -huh. You can see our, our resistance points that we draw on weekly charts. Uh, so, so guys, let me tell you again, you see, trading is very sweet if you're patient and you know what you're doing. So you can see that the, 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 the point, what we drew in, in weekly chart, what we drew, what we drew on weekly chart. I don't know why the thing is over moving, man. What we drew on weekly chart, you see what is happening on daily. You see, <laughs> see that? Oh man, sorry head and shoulder, and price is resisting from that point. I want you to just see that. Have, have a look at it, okay? Have a look at it. On H4, the way it's looking. On H4, the way it's looking. Look at the first peak where price bounced and retraced, then made the second peak like a, a head, then went back to make a shoulder, okay? Like this, look at that. Uh -huh. And then look at this. So that is how it is looking. So let me tell you one thing, guys. What I'm trying to emphasize here is one thing. Don't ignore high time frames. Always the patient ones make money at the end of it all. Those who are not patient never make it. Like it's very hard. I'm telling you the truth. It's just hard because market needs patience. Now, let's move on. Let's move on. I hope you're enjoying the video, guys. Hope you're learning something because it's my pleasure to see that you've learned something. Now, if you look at NZDSD, you will notice that it has always, it has been buying, it has been buying, uh, it has been buying, it has been really buying. From this point up to this point, buying. Then again, we see it kind of dropping, okay, a bit, but we are not yet so much sure. Okay, but I smell a sell because of what we saw in the monthly chart. Now, this is the, the daily chart. I want you to see this. But we, before we move that, let's first check on the daily chart. Yes, sorry. The daily chart. I want you to see this. Okay, I think I made a big mistake. Let me draw back my arrow. My resistance to some point let's see what is happening in daily ah oh, man see that see that see that a nice head and shoulder look at this uh-huh spike retest retest how many pips you got here <laughs> you have some good pips man see that so what am I trying to say here? It means that when you analyze using high time frames, you're very smart. <laughs> I hope you can hear me. It therefore means that when you use high time frames to analyze the market, you have a more chance of making money. And if you're patient, of course, if you're not patient, then forget about it. We, we're just trying to be honest to each other. I don't want to, to tell you that, man, trading is easy. Trading is hard, bro, if you're not patient. You know, I can teach you all this, but if, you don't, if you're not patient, then it's hard and it's up to you. It's really very hard to make money in trading. You have to train yourself to be patient. If you don't have money like $50, like my friend, I don't know what's saving. Train yourself to be patient. Train yourself to be patient. 
that is the goal man of making money that is the, the another another point that will help you make money now let's see let's see uh, the daily so the first thing that you'll notice in the daily is uh huh price was moving high higher high higher high hey man higher high higher high then we have price dropping to the support hey shit just a moment uh, i don't know what's happening to this i'm not good at this pc stuff okay so i'm trying to say this guys see this price retested to retested to our support okay so i know there is an order block at this point i'm very sure this is our higher high and i'm sure we have our bearish order block at this point and that is our nice support where price retested in the daily okay then it again broke these higher highs you can see that now the reason why i could i could say that this trade is still valid is this let me show you something we are moving like this higher high higher high and then we reach some point it fails to to do what to break this higher high then he drops the previous support looking for the next order block he continues <laughs> what is this fake m structure my friends who trade structures not every structure you see in the market is valid you're trading with con men hey <laughs> guys who are very smart i told you these guys are, are so smart they'll do anything it's just like walking on the way and someone wants to con you money and he throws money in front of you he's trying to force you to a point where he's showing that ah, there is money hey man start start selling start selling then he takes it away from you where is it? he induces you to take a trade and takes you off so you have seen this our let me let me kind of wrap this we are going to do it up to the small time frame before i talk to you about more things look at this m structure here support level there is a nice order block there if i zoom it but if i zoom out this chart will disturb me a bit then price broke and formed a higher high hmm? but if this higher high it's again our resistance point the other side in weekly then we have a spike up like head shoulder now you can see the structures a nice structure is a structure which is next to the head and shoulder and when you see this I will show you how to put now your round numbers. That's where you look for nice entries. Nice entries, brah. Okay. So now you see this price retested to your, to your resistance. That is your resistance automatically now. You're using resistance. You have not brought in order blocks. You have not brought in round numbers. See how the accuracy is coming slowly until you come to small time frames i use h1 or m15 for entry but nowadays i use h1 because i don't have time for 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 minute minute time frames i don't have time i trade an hour and above okay so you can see this daily now let's move on to something something again let me first zoom i see if i can see something which is significant that I can show you. So you can see that this, the, the, the structure of the market was broken fast here at this point, because price came and broke completely our previous support. I've hated this. Mm -hmm. You can see that price came and broke completely our previous supports. If you look at this point here only, up to here, then retested back to the resistance point, making a double top, then pushing it down. So I want I'm trying to make it easier, like guys. I want you to really understand the strike the market very well. Okay, I want you to play. I want you to play with time frames, man. I want you. To, I don't want you to 
I want you to understand trading. You feel me? Understand trading. Now we are moving. Uh, let me first rub off this so that we can. Now you can see this. I hope you can see this. You can see this. Let me let me make a brief video about this point. <laughs> this was our resistance point. Where is it? You can see it's it, it was this point. Okay, resistance point. Now, I want you to look at this point here. We have a nice order flow. But before we move on, you will notice that if you go to high time frames, you will capture the trend of the markets. More so, use weekly. I always love using daily, sorry, daily for trend. Daily is very nice for trend. Monthly, weekly direction. Daily trend. Daily is for the trend. H1, H4 entry. That is how I, okay, that's how I do it actually for me. I don't know how you do it, but that is how I do it. <laughs> Now, let me show you something, okay? Before I can take a break and I come back, okay? So this, okay, so let me show you something about the structure of the market. First of all, I told you like, a ranging market, it depends on the time frame before I do trade. Sometimes I do trade ranging markets, but I don't like trading because here, I don't know what the person there is planning but depends on the time frame. Because if you say, of course, a ranging market in daily, then I, I rarely wait, but it's always cool to wait for, for, a, for a breakout, for a breakout, either price to break the support or resistance level, depending on the time, depending on the trend. So if, if the trend was bullish, then from where you start seeing this, it means like, it means these are like our supports, okay? And this is our resistance on top. So I always wait for price to either break this point or to break this point. Because at this point, there, there are many traps. There are so many traps in the market. They're trapping you in the market. There are very many traps at this point. There are many traps at that point. Very many traps. That's why you have to be very careful when you're going to be trading that type of structure, okay? You have to be very careful when you're trading that type of structure. Then let me give you another type of structure. There is a structure that you see when I told you about the, the bullish flag and the bearish flag. Those are very important structures, guys, because they, they help you in continuation. I'm not going to repeat it here. Go and check on the old videos and you can watch about the bearish and the bullish flag, how you can use it for continuation of a trend and how you can use it now that the trend is still continuing. That is how you can use them. Now, there is something very important that I want you to know. It always happens like this. I'm gonna draw so many. Sometimes it also happens like just watch the structures I'm drawing. Now, these are almost same structures, but they have different intentions. If you look at this one, they are almost of the same shape. The, the peaks are almost of the same shape. Peaks are, the, peaks are almost the same shape, but these two peaks are of different shapes. So when you look at this, there is a big manipulation here. And let me explain to you. If you see like this, then this, this is stop hand now, okay? So when you look at this, it means who are being targeted here? Who are being targeted? Because this is stop hand. 
So it means that here there are many people selling. Yes, that's selling at that uh, at the normal, like that's the real direction that's selling. But this man says that no, I won't move with all of you. At least I'll, I'll accept to move with two percent. But the ninety, the ninety-eight of you, you're going. Not even the ninety-eight, because whenever people enter the trend, let's say like we have all entered a, a sell, okay? Maybe, maybe let's say like uh, maybe eight percent are selling in that right direction, okay? Eight percent are selling then then the 20 percent are buying but now out of this 20 percent who are buying these ones will be kicked out later of course okay here they will get very excited when they see blue 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 faster moves always faster quick moves are bad they will get so excited this 20 percent and then these guys most of them some of them that are impatient, they will, they, will, they will get off the market early. That's the first thing, they're impatient. So they will, they, will, they will let go the market by themselves without, without the smart guy doing anything to them. Then the majority, that stop loss will be hit. Then only 2%, they'll move with the trend. They'll, they'll, move, they'll, they'll move with them. So look at this. Maybe your stop loss is being hit, then he moves in your direction and you continue with him. Always when you see faster moves in the market, be very careful. That's why I told you that you have to be knowing the time that you trade. When do you trade and when don't you trade? It's something very important. You have to know the time you trade. Just like the same thing like here. People who are being targeted are still the buyers who are on the right direction. But here, I think people are, the, the type of trades in the market that are almost like, these ones are always patient like this one's always move slowly like you won't see quick moves but means that there's a balance like 50 60 percent buyers buyers and sellers but when you see this hey man that many percentage may be buying at the same time or selling at the same time there is a big percentage so this guy has to make a nice top hand by elongating one of the side of the peak hope you understand me there so guys i have a lot of food let me first take a break i take some water and I get back to you, okay? Mm. Let me first clear just a moment. I'll just have to edit and fix the videos together. So let me first end this. Uh, 